Hey Amiibros and Amigals, I am back with a brand new custom Amiibo tutorial. It is a giveaway, but the link for the giveaway will be down below in the description, so make sure you check it out. It is partnered with Cat with Monocle, so again, the link will be down below in the description. Okay, today we are going to make Morgana from Persona. Let me know in the comments below if you guys actually play this game as well. I absolutely love this character design. Luckily, it is also very easy to make. Keep in mind, all the materials that you'll need to make this custom amiibo will be down below in the description as well. So again, all materials down below. Check it out, guys. And of course, you'll need an Animal Crossing amiibo, and it is Rover because he is, of course, a cat. So this is going to be really easy to transform him into Morgana. But to make sure that you don't get any mess on the base, I actually tend to cover up a lot of my amiibos with painter's tape. The clay that we tend to use is a two-part resin, and it can be messy. So if you want, go ahead and take that extra precaution just to make sure that you don't make any mistakes. Otherwise, you're going to have to paint the base, and it's just a lot more work. Okay, so go ahead and take your two-part resin, and of course you're going to mix it very well. After you do that, you have a working time of two hours before it really hardens. So go ahead and place that onto the Amiibo. We are going to give ourselves a very smooth working surface. So again, you want to cover up the arms, and we're actually going to go ahead and cover up the head as well. So again, this portion of the process is really simple. You're just allowing yourself a smooth base so you can add on anything such as arms, legs, tails, etc. Repeat the process on his face because Morgana's eyes are a lot different. There's a lot more details that you want to add to make sure that you capture Morgana's personality. So again, go ahead and cover up the face, smooth it out with water. It is your best friend when working with a two-part resin. And again, the materials will be down below in the description, so make sure you check it out. After you give yourself a nice base, go ahead and add the small accessories that you can with the two-part resin, such as the belts or anything else that you can add on before you uh, jump right into Sculpey. Again, luckily Morgana has a very simple design and this is a really good tutorial for those who are just starting off. If you have Rover lying around the house and you want to make it into Morgana, definitely go ahead and of course Animal Crossing Amiibos are very cheap so it's okay if you mess up. Don't forget guys, this is also a giveaway, so if you want to enter the giveaway, go ahead and check out the links down below. It is partnered up with Cat with Monocle, uh, a very good friend of mine who actually makes all of my box art, so I'll have his links down below as well. So if you want to enter the giveaway guys, check out the links down below. Or if you want to make this custom amiibo, the materials will be listed as well in the description. All right, so we are pretty much done adding the accessories. So that includes any belts or t-shirts or whatever else you can possibly add with the two-part resin. It is time to actually go ahead and add even the cooler details, which is my favorite part, his facial features. So the reason why this is my favorite part is because a lot of people actually tend to skip this portion. But again, he has eyebrows. So you want to make sure that you include that. And it's definitely Morgana's personality showing as well. You can't have Morgana without his smirky look. So again, make sure that you add his raised eyebrows. It definitely gives him a lot more character and you can even include this in any other custom amiibos that you wanna make or any sculptures in the near future. Okay, so now it's time to super glue his arms back on. Be very generous with the super glue. Of course, you want to make sure that you apply pressure onto his arms until it actually holds. So again, don't release until it holds and dries. It's very important that you make sure these don't fall off during the painting process or then it'll get really messy. So again, guys, make sure that you apply pressure until it holds. All right, so we're almost done. All we have left to do is add some color on this kitty. So of course you wanna add your base colors. Morgana is all black, so make sure that you add black first and then add the details later. So when it comes to painting, of course it comes down to layers. So make sure you add enough layers and don't blob on the paint. You wanna make sure that it's a thin layer and wait till each layer dries. It is so important that you guys follow those rules. 
or else you'll end up with fingerprints and it won't look as clean. If you're wondering what paint I'm using, all the links down below will have the materials listed, so check it out. And the giveaway is also down below in the description. My favorite part of any figurine is adding the details. Of course, when it comes to painting, practice makes perfect. So if it's really difficult at the beginning, don't get frustrated, keep going, and just try your best because regardless, you're gonna love the outcome. Okay, so once you have your base colors down, go ahead and add the details. That includes shading. So of course, you wanna add highlights or even shadows and proceed to do that when it comes to Morgana. Man, Morgana was just really easy to make and I feel like anyone can do this. It's really simple with a lot of practice and patience. If you do make this custom amiibo or any amiibo for that matter, go ahead and send me a picture on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I would love to see it and I'm a lot more active on Twitter as well. And of course, I would appreciate the support. So again, guys, if you make any arts and crafts from my channel, go ahead and send me pictures. I will share it with the whole amiibo family. Okay, my favorite part is always painting the eyes because that is always the last step when it comes to um, painting. I love painting the eyes last because that's when the amiibo pops and you can definitely see the personality in this character. Absolutely loved making this. It was so much fun and I even went above and beyond and added fabric for his scarf. So again guys, if you want to enter the giveaway for this amazing custom amiibo that I've made, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. The link will be down below in the description. It is partnered with Cat with Monocle and again, it's a free amiibo. So go ahead, follow down below in the description and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. That is really important because I will have more custom amiibo tutorials and Gamer with Games videos coming very soon. So again guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I will hopefully see you all next time. Bye!